Welcome to our video guide on how to do a 7-day water fast and its incredible health benefits. This is a practice that dates back centuries but has recently seen a resurgence in popularity. This extreme form of fasting involves, as the name suggests, consuming nothing but water for an entire week. Now you might be wondering, why would anyone willingly choose to do this? Well, the benefits are manifold. A 7-day water fast can lead to weight loss, a reduction in stress levels, and improved metabolic markers. It's like hitting the reset button on your body, allowing it to cleanse and rejuvenate itself. During this fast, your body goes through several fascinating phases. For instance, it enters a state known as ketosis, where it starts to burn fat for energy instead of the carbohydrates it would usually rely on. Then there's autophagy, a process where your body cleans out damaged cells, aiding in cell regeneration and potentially offering a host of other health benefits. But before you jump on this fasting bandwagon, it's essential to know that a 7-day water fast is not without its risks. We're talking about potential muscle loss and nutritional deficiencies. That's why it's crucial to prepare adequately for this journey by consulting a healthcare provider, practicing shorter fasts, and consuming nourishing foods beforehand. This fasting journey is not a one-size-fits-all, it's a personal journey that should be tailored to your own health status and needs, and we're here to guide you through it step by step so you can make an informed decision. In the next section, we will delve into the safety aspects of a 7-day water fast. But before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Before you decide to take on a 7-day water fast, it's crucial to understand the potential risks. A water fast is not your average diet plan. It's an extreme form of fasting where only water is consumed for an entire week. While it may seem like an efficient way to shed some pounds and cleanse the body, it is not without its dangers. One of the most significant risks is nutrient deficiency. When you abstain from food for seven days, your body is deprived of essential vitamins and minerals that it needs to function properly. This can lead to side effects like fatigue, dizziness, and even rapid heartbeat. The lack of energy providing carbohydrates can also leave you feeling weak and lethargic. Another serious risk is dehydration. Despite drinking water during the fast you're not getting the same level of hydration that comes from foods especially fruits and vegetables. This can lead to symptoms like dry mouth, thirst, and decreased urine output. It's also worth noting that a 7-day water fast can result in muscle loss. When your body doesn't get enough protein from dietary sources, it starts to break down muscle tissues to meet its needs. This can lead to a decrease in muscle mass and overall strength. Given these risks, it's of utmost importance to consult a healthcare provider before embarking on a 7-day water fast. They can assess your overall health, consider any underlying conditions, and provide guidance on whether such a fast is appropriate for you. Remember, what works for one person may not necessarily work for another, and the goal should always be health, not just weight loss. Having understood the risks, let's now explore how to prepare for a 7-day water fast. Preparation is key when embarking on a 7-day water fast. The journey of a week-long water fast is as much about mental readiness as it is about physical readiness. So how do we prepare for this journey? First and foremost, it's essential to practice shorter fasts before diving into a week-long water fast. This practice helps the body adjust to the idea of not consuming food for extended periods. Think of it as training for a marathon. You wouldn't run the full 26 miles on your first day of training, would you? The same concept applies here. Start with intermittent fasting gradually increasing the fasting window over time. Next, consider the foods you consume before the fast. It's crucial to nourish your body with nutrient-dense foods to stock up on essential vitamins and minerals. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains is a good place to start. This preparation phase will ensure your body is well-equipped to handle the fast. Now let's talk about the fast itself. During the 7-day water fast, the only thing you'll consume is water, and lots of it. However, there are variations to this. Some people choose to include black coffee, green tea or even a pinch of Himalayan salt in their fast. These additions can help alleviate some of the common side effects of fasting, like headaches or fatigue, while still keeping your body in a fasted state. Remember a 7-day water fast is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's vital to listen to your body and adjust accordingly. If you feel unwell at any point it's okay to stop. Your health should always be your top priority. Now that we know how to prepare let's understand what happens during the fast. The body goes through several phases during a 7-day water fast. Let's delve into the fascinating journey your body embarks upon, from the first day to the seventh. In the initial hours of the fast, your body is still running on glucose for energy, but once you hit the 12-18 to 18 hour mark, things start to shift. 
your body runs out of glucose and begins to transition to a state known as ketosis. During ketosis, your body starts burning fat for fuel, a natural survival mechanism to provide energy when food is scarce. But the magic doesn't stop there. Around the 48 to 72 hour mark, you enter a phase called autophagy. This is your body's way of housekeeping. It starts to clear out damaged cells and regenerate new ones. This process is believed to have several benefits including cell regeneration, insulin regulation, and liver rejuvenation. However, it's not all smooth sailing. A 7-day water fast can come with potential side effects. Some people may experience a rapid heartbeat, dizziness, fatigue, or dehydration. Muscle loss is also a concern, as your body may begin to break down muscle tissue for energy. It's essential to listen to your body during this process. If you experience severe discomfort or symptoms, it may be best to break the fast and consult with a healthcare provider. Remember, the fast doesn't end at 7 days. Refeeding is a crucial part of the process. After a period of fasting your body is in a sensitive state, and reintroducing food must be done gradually to avoid a potentially dangerous condition called refeeding syndrome. So, while the 7-day water fast may be over, your journey to better health and understanding your body continues. Stay tuned as we delve into what to eat after a 7-day water fast in the next segment. After a week of fasting it's vital to reintroduce food gradually. As you emerge from your 7-day water fast, your body has been in a state of ketosis and autophagy, processes that have been linked to a host of health benefits. However, the transition back to regular eating needs to be handled with care to avoid refeeding syndrome, a potentially serious condition that can occur when food is consumed too rapidly after a fast. So, how do you start eating again after a week of fasting? The key is to reintroduce food slowly and prioritize those that are easy to digest. Start with something light and rich in nutrients. A vegetable broth, for instance, is a great option. It's hydrating, comforting, and packed with essential vitamins and minerals. You might also consider soft fruits like bananas or avocados, which are gentle on your digestive system and provide a good dose of potassium, a crucial electrolyte that needs replenishing after a fast. After your body has adjusted to these initial foods, you can gradually incorporate more complex meals. Lean proteins such as chicken or fish, along with a variety of vegetables, should be your go-to. They provide the nutrients your body needs to recover, without overwhelming your digestive system. It's also important to remember to stay hydrated. Even though you've been drinking water throughout your fast, continuing to hydrate as you reintroduce food will help your body adjust and aid digestion. Lastly, listen to your body. Everyone's experience breaking a fast is unique, so tune into your body's signals. If a certain food doesn't sit well, give it a rest and try something else. Remember breaking your fast is not a race. Take your time, be gentle with your body and enjoy the process of reintroducing nourishment. Let's now delve into the potential benefits and dangers of a 7-day water fast. A 7-day water fast can have both positive and negative effects on the body. Let's delve into these in more detail. Firstly, the benefits. A week without food, consuming only water, can kickstart a process known as autophagy. This is your body's way of cleaning up shop and getting rid of old, possibly harmful cells. It's a kind of cellular regeneration, and it's been linked to a whole host of health benefits. Weight loss is another major advantage of a 7-day water fast. With no incoming calories, your body turns to its fat stores for energy leading to rapid weight loss. However, it's important to note that this is largely due to water loss and the depletion of glycogen stores, so some weight may be regained when you start eating again. Insulin regulation is another potential benefit. Fasting can help reset insulin sensitivity, which can be particularly beneficial for people with insulin resistance. Lastly, it's been suggested that a 7-day water fast can rejuvenate the liver. The liver is our body's detox organ, and giving it a break from processing food can help it recover and perform better. Now let's shift our focus to the dangers. The most significant one is nutrient deficiency. While fasting, your body isn't receiving any of the essential vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients it needs to function properly. This can lead to fatigue, dizziness, and other health issues. Dehydration is another risk, even though you're consuming water. This is because a lot of the water we consume comes from food, so without it you may not be getting as much as you think. Lastly, muscle loss is a real concern. When the body is starved of energy, it can start breaking down muscle tissue for fuel. This is particularly worrying for those with high muscle mass as they stand to lose the most. Remember, a 7-day water fast is not for everyone and should be undertaken with caution. To wrap up, a 7-day water fast can offer numerous benefits but it also carries significant risks. 
This extreme form of fasting rooted in centuries-old practices may lead to weight loss, reduced stress and improved metabolic markers. Yet it can also result in muscle loss, nutritional deficiencies and other side effects. Therefore, it's essential to consult a healthcare provider before embarking on this journey. Remember, the fast should be broken gradually to avoid refeeding syndrome. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.